Hey, Justin Thompson here with Hyundai Construction Equipment. Behind me is the all new HL930A from Hyundai. A new two and a half yard loader. Right up here at the front of the machine, you'll see our two and a half yard bucket. It can come in a smooth edge or a tooth bucket. Either is an option. We also have available an ISO style quick coupler or a pin on bucket as this model is equipped with. As we move back on the machine, you'll see our Z-Bar loader arms. Our machine is available with either Z-Bar, an extended reach Z-Bar, or is available also in a Toolmaster configuration for parallel lift. One of the class leading features on the HL930A is our axles. All Hyundai wheel loaders come standard with outboard brakes and outboard planetaries on the axles. Outboard brakes and outboard planetaries are easier to service, provide better stability of the machine, and longer life. Being easier to service, you simply have to remove the tire to access the outboard planetary and hub and brakes. This machine is equipped with our standard set of fenders, but there's also additional full rear mud guards that are available. All Hyundai wheel loaders are included with their basic warranty, a three year, 3,000 hour bumper to bumper warranty, a five year, 10,000 hour structural guarantee, and a limited lifetime warranty on the center pivot bearings located here. Our stairs, our traction treads as you move up into the cab, and underneath the steps, located centrally on all the Hyundai wheel loaders, is our master disconnect switch located here. Ease of serviceability is one of the great parts of the Hyundai wheel loaders. Now you see our service instruction chart here. We also have bank grease zerks located here and here. There's a few sight glasses on the machine. One is for the transmission that's located here. We have a hydraulic oil sight glass located here, right behind the cab. And also, there's an engine coolant sight glass. As you access the hood with this door and the secondary door, you can easily see the sight glass located here. Also underneath the hood is the all new Cummins B 4.5 Performance Series engine. Not only is it tier four compliant, but it's also EU Stage 5 compliant. It uses a singular exhaust after treatment system with a diesel particulate filter and selective catalytic reduction. Starting here is our cooling package. All the Hyundai wheel loaders feature a hydraulic reversing fan programmable within the monitor. With these doors on each side, the cooling package can be easily cleaned out with air by accessing here. Another standard feature on all of our Hyundai wheel loaders is our cooling package. As we access this back door, you can see our cooling package here. It's easily opened with this T-lock handle. As we unlock this T-lock handle, the cooling package swings open for easy access. From top to bottom, we have our charge air cooler, engine radiator, and transmission oil cooler. Also featured here is our AC condenser, and our hydraulic oil cooler. There's another latch to swing this cooling package back and the T-lock locks back in place, holding the cooling package tight. Also located here is our diesel fuel cap where you can easily fuel the machine. It is also a locking cap and our standard reversing alarm. We'll follow on along the back of the other side of the machine and uh, take a look at the engine. As we look here at the other side of the engine compartment, it opens up the same way as we do on the other side. This door swings forward, locks into place, and this door is able to move back. Here, you can see our Cummins B 4.5 Performance Series engine. You'll see our fuel filter, fuel water separator, engine oil dipstick, and engine oil fill all present here on this side of the machine. This engine compartment is open and has a lot of room for a lot of serviceability if needed. To close the engine compartment, this door swings back. You pull the blue lock handle, that lock bar opens up, and the door 
easily closes. Also, behind the rear tire, we have a remote oil drains, making engine oil changes quick and easy. In front of the rear counterweight on each side are our battery compartments. The unit has a 24 volt system. To open the battery compartments, you simply open this T-lock handle and open the battery door. The lock bar will fall into place. To close the battery compartment, you simply push back on the lock bar, let the door shut, and then replace the T-lock. Also located on the right side of the machine is our death fill. Now, we thought about this and separated our death fill and diesel fuel locations. To access the death fill through this keyed lock, as we open it up, here you can see our death tank. We also have a sight glass with a check ball to prevent overfilling. We're gonna close this door back and look at our AC system. Behind this door, you can access both the intake and the recirculating filter for our AC compartment. Intake located here and recirculating filter located here. We also include an easy sticker here to remind you which one's which. Not only that, but up top here, we have located our air intake for the cab, keeping it up high where the clean air is and away from down here where the dust may be coming from the tires to maximize the life of those AC filters. 